In this video, I will talk about difference between standard deviation, standard error, and confidence interval. So when you draw a graph, bar graph actually, a bar of showing mean, say mean of say blood pressure, and comparing two groups, A and B, okay? and you draw something like this, right? And then in many graphs, and you see this bar, we call it error bar. And people like to use this because this show the data variation. So using only mean, we can't really tell if there's a difference between A and B, but by showing data variation, and we might be able to show there's a difference between A and B. And or, you know, graph looks more scientific. So many people use error bars on top of um, mean bar. So when you use uh, software to do that, and software typically ask whether you want to make error bar as SD or SE or confidence interval. Okay. So today I will, will talk about difference between the three and which choice you should be using. Okay. So I'm showing a graph with three different error bars. First one is standard deviation. Second one is standard error. And third one is 95% confidence interval. Okay, so let's let's learn what how we compute these three differently. So let's review what is a standard deviation. So what is a standard deviation? In the previous video, and we show with mean plus minus two standard deviation, if data are normally distributed, ninety five percent of observation uh, lies in between. Okay, so plus minus. So this is just one standard deviation. So if you make it twice large, it cannot go negative. Actually, oh, it's strange, right? But anyway, if you draw plus minus two standard deviation, that's where ninety five percent of data fall. Okay. Okay, so that's the standard deviation. And it has nice interpretation and show data variations, right? And what is a standard error? A standard error is, okay, is provided as standard deviation divided by square of sample size. So if n is 100, you have 100 patient, standard deviation is 5. What is a standard error? That would be 10 over 5.5. Okay? So as you see, when n is large, as n get larger and standard error gets smaller. And what is a standard error? You saw this in uh, in the video, Carnes Academy video of Central Limit Theorem. Uh, standard error is show of distribution of means instead of actual data. So that means uh, it shows how accurate estimated mean is. So more the sample, greater the accuracy. So standard, devi standard error becomes smaller with a larger sample. Smaller the standard error, that's actually show more accuracy, better accuracy of estimated mean. So let's look at this. Um, okay. So here, you compute standard deviation based on sample, right? It's as a mean average. And you know how many n patients are here. Let's say if the n is 30. Okay, so you can compute SE as how much is standard deviation here? 10 to 20, or 10, divided by 30, square root of 30. So that's how you compute this length, okay? So that's why standard error is much smaller than standard deviation, especially uh, when n is large. Okay, so larger the n, and standard error becomes smaller. And by the way, sample size doesn't affect directly on standard deviation, because standard deviation is just average, right? So average doesn't change by uh, increasing n. So standard deviation is stable uh, over sample size, but standard error becomes smaller, and if the sample size become larger. So that's the 
difference between SD and SE, and SE estimate accuracy of a mean. Okay, so the smaller the bar, and you can say uh, mean estimation is more accurate. So let's move on. 95% confidence interval is actually mean plus minus 2 times standard error. So if you compute standard error is 10 over square root of 30, and this length is really 2 times 10 over square root of 30. So that's how you compute it. And uh, okay, so now you understand the difference between the three. And uh, so let's talk about which one we should be using. So why we put the standard error, right? Because we want to show, we want to link graphs to a statistical difference, right? And we want to use graph to show there's a difference. So if you want to show the difference between mean of outcome between group A and group B, which graph should you be using? And uh, I've seen many people use mean plus minus standard error, which is actually wrong. And you should be using 95% confidence interval. Okay. So the, typically, when the two error bars does not overlap, if the error bars are 95% confidence interval, and you can say there is statistical difference, no, no overlapping, overlapping. 95% confidence interval is similar to P less than 0.05. Okay? And although, so in this case, number C, P value is 0 0.1 because it's slightly overlapped. So therefore, it's not statistically different. And uh, B, standard error in this case. Okay, standard errors are not overlapped, although p-value is not significant. And because we don't use mean plus minus standard error uh, to link directly to statistical evidence. Okay, so uh, if you're using mean plus minus AC, you should stop doing that. Okay, and then standard deviation have nothing to do with p-value, so therefore overlapping standard deviation error bar and does not really tell anything in terms of p-value. So in this case, and standard deviation is clearly overlaps, but p-value is highly significant. Okay. So again, this graph is confusing. And usually when you want to put error bar to the mean uh, value, and you should be using 95% confidence interval. Okay. And standard deviation is useful when you describe data. So for table one, baseline patient characteristics, you should be using standard deviation. Okay. For statistical inference, you may, where you want to show difference, you should be using 95% confidence interval. So nowhere in paper you should be using mean plus minus one standard error. Okay. So don't use that. If you use, you have to multiply by two, which become 95% confidence interval. Okay, so that's my recommendation. And here's a summary. Standard deviation describes variation of observed data computed as average distance from each observation to the sample mean. 95% of observations are thought to fall in the range of mean plus minus to standard deviation if data are normally distributed. Okay? And standard error describes accuracy of sample mean computed as standard deviation divided by square root of n where and indicate sample size. Okay? In 95% confidence interval, confidence uh, is twice as large as SE, so that's computed as mean plus minus two times standard error. So for table one of descriptive uh, table, use standard deviation. But for the result, when you want to compare effect of drug between groups, and you should be using confidence interval. Okay? In no way in the paper you should be using standard error.